Here is how to create a phone icon here in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very very easy to do. So first of all, you head on to your toolbar and select the ellipse tool. Hold on shift and control to draw a perfect circle. Hit on the space bar to deselect the tool. Then P to fit a drawing page. Select the circle, hold shift, then re reduce uniformly, then right click to create a duplicate. So you head on to your toolbar again and you select the PZR tool. So you long press on this area, then you select the PZR tool. So you hold on shift and you drag to your bottom, then double click. So you hold shift to increase this uniformly. So you drag this here, then you click it again, then the node change this to this then you hold control and you drag to angle 270 all right so select the line and you hold shift then select this circle then c and you drag this up then you hold control and you drag this to the bottom and you right click to create a duplicate so you highlight this to control g and you group Select this, hold shift, then click on this circle and E. Yeah, so you sell, draw another circle again using the busy tool. Then you hold shift, then you drag, then double click. Then hold shift to increase the size uniformly and bring this to this area. Once this is selected, you hold shift, then you click on this circle, then E. Alright, so you have to make sure the spaces between them are equal. So you make sure you do that with the rectangle tool. You select the rectangle tool. So you drag this to this area. Once the once you've drawn this rectangle, you hold shift, then you select this, then E to make sure it's at the center. So you hold control and you drag this. Then you click on this line. Then you hold control and you drag to this end and right click to create a duplicate. So you delete this. So you highlight this, you can bring this, shift this a little bit, hold control to maintain balance. You can adjust this to your right again. So this is perfect. So what you have to do now is make use of the virtual segment delete tool. So it's located here where you have the crop tool. So you long press on the crop tool and select the virtual segment delete tool so um, it removes overlapping areas so you do this area delete this you delete you remove this you remove this you remove this you remove this you just drag you remove this you remove this So um, after that is done, and you come back to your toolbar section and you select the smart view, then you add a few color inside this outline you've created. So basically this is it. So you right click to create a duplicate and you give it a color of your choice. So you can remove the few colors, select it and you delete. So you can increase the outline of this and you come to this property bar here and let's say 4. So um, the edges are a bit broken, so you, once it's selected, you come to your status bar, then you double click this area here, double click, then where you have line caps, you select this one, round cap. So basically this is it, or you select whichever one works is okay with you, but basically this is what I will go for, I click OK. So once you're done, this is it. You can actually use it on any of your design, maybe on a business card or a flyer or whatever you're designing. Sit on how to design or how to create a phone icon here in CorelDRAW. It's very simple and very, very easy to do. If you found this video helpful, throw this on the subscribe button, turn on post notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial.